hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to create webhook for your dialogflow cx agent using python and flask also i will guide you through the process step by step so that you can understand every piece of the puzzle before we start you should have these things ready first you must have a Dialogflow CX account. Second, you must have some web application programming experience. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for you. Next, you should have Python installed on your system. And you should have ngrock installed on your system. This ngrock, we will use it to uh, expose our local host to internet. During the testing period, we can communicate between Dialogflow CX agent and our web application. So finally, let's get started. I am here in the folder where I want to store the code. So I'll open terminal and open my Visual Studio code. The first thing I will do is I will create a virtual environment using python -m -v -e -n -v v e n v hyphen m stands for module and the module name is v e n v and my virtual environment name is v e n v i'll hit enter so it will create a virtual environment here i'll create a git ignore file cause i'm going to push this code to github so i don't want to push virtual environment then i will activate my virtual environment you can see now i am inside my virtual environment i will install flask using pip install flask this small warning says that there is newer version of pip is available i'll upgrade that as well now here i'll create app dot pi file inside i'll say from flask import flask and i'll say app equals to flask and this will take underscore underscore name and my home route will be something like this and i'll say def home return i'll just return okay 200 and i'll say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals to underscore underscore main then app dot run and i'll just use debug equals to true and let me very quickly run this file so that yeah our server is running and let me check it yeah we got okay response so our server is running now let's look into uh, dialogflow cx agent so i have a dialogflow cx agent youtube demo i'll go into that now uh, let me first very quickly delete some things that i don't want okay here we have default start flow default start flow has two routes i'll delete this since i don't need it okay now i have a default welcome intent and i want to connect this intent with webhook so i'll click on that and yeah so it is connected to a webhook backend and tag name is sample response so this tag name is used 
to segregate all the request from dialog flow to our backend so at this point let me save this so now if i go test agent and i say hi most probably this will fail because if i go here original re response and i click on it in the end you will see that webhook status url error reason uh, url not found so let me first start my ngrock engine now this is my ngrock engine and in order to separate the request i'll create another route app dot route i'll say dialog flow i'll say methods equals to post cause dialog flow will uh, request with a post method i'll say def dialog flow and i'll say i'll let me import request as well yeah now let's say data equals to request get underscore json and let me print the data and just for time being i'll return okay 200 so that means whenever dialog flow will request here we will just print the data whatever coming and we will just send ok 200 status so here i have this url i hope you understand that my machine is running on local host that means only this computer can have access to this server but with the help of this i can access uh, local server on the internet so if i come here and if i paste this url and if i click on view site we see ok response now if go i go to dialog flow under manage section under webhook let me delete this let's create a new webhook i'll say backend i'll provide the webhook url that we created your ngrock url followed by dialog flow route because we have a dialog flow route then i'll leave everything as it is and i'll hit save now my webhook is ready so i'll go to build and then start and in this default welcome intent i would like to connect it to webhook so i'll enable webhook i select the my webhook backend i'll say uh let's say for example default welcome default welcome intent and let me save this now if i go here and say hi you'll see that in the uh, where it is yeah in the original response you'll see that fail to parse webhook response okay so indeed uh, the request went to our webhook and we can verify that yeah it indeed came here and we can see here as well it indeed came here and we process that and we sent okay 200 but a dialog flow cx uh, dialog flow cx was unable to understand it so now let's see how to send response so for that dialog flow cx has this documentation that in a webhook response you need to send a json object and that json object can have these things and with these things uh, dialog flow cx will understand your response and it will uh, render that response on the platform so the object has fulfillment response property so let's create that and for that uh, i'll use jsonify and in the response i will say jsonify and i'll use object that i want to jsonify 
and i'll say fulfillment response and fulfillment response is an object so is an object so let me click on it object has messages property which is a list so object uh, messages property which is a list list of object which has response messages so uh, it is object which has this response messages which has a channel and text so channel is uh, the channel which the response is associated with uh, clients can specify the channel via query parameter channel and only associated channel response will be returned so let's leave it as it is and let's take text so this object has a property text and it is an object of text which has text and string so and it is a list so this object has a property again text and which is let's say this is a sample response uh, from web hook uh, let me just quickly format this okay for that i need to install pip install auto pep 8 yeah i'll run this oops yeah and let me quickly format this yeah it is formatted now so now we are sending this response and let's taste the working let me save this i'll come here i'll go to dialog flow and i'll go to test agent i'll say hi and hopefully we will oh we did not see that response let's debug it very quickly so uh, fail to pass webhook response fulfillment messages fulfillment oh i'm sorry if we are we have made a mistake uh, let's make sure again it took me a while to figure out that indeed this text should be a list of messages and i was not using that i have tested few more things as well but finally it worked and i can get rid of these things as well and if i say hi again yeah so I have I, I I had tried so many things but finally this is the response format I was missing this uh, as an array so so finally when we send a request hi we get a response this is sample response from webhook and if I go to original response we can see that yeah uh, webhook uh, successfully rendered that and this is the webhook uh, response now you can convert this into a function and use it otherwise you can keep as it is the code used in this video is available on my github and the link for it is in the description and if you in case download or use the code i have written on my github repository please consider giving it to a star uh, that helps i hope this is informative to you we have connected dialogflow cx and uh, route or a fulfillment to uh, backend webhook and we have successfully rendered the message into the dialogflow console as well if you face any issue following the steps i have shown in this video then you can use the comment section to ask your question and i will get back to you if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace